So I'm getting married, which means I've started looking for a wedding dress. Obviously, Kleinfeld is the most famous bridal salon in the world, so if you're looking for a dress, why not go to the Disneyland of bridal salons? When you first go in, it's like a palace, like a Barbie dream house of every dress you could possibly imagine on earth. There's lots of people there. People come together in like huge groups. It's like a huge group family thing for people to do. I've seen Say Yes to the Dress, so I was really worried about finding something in my size or if I'd feel really terrible about myself afterwards. So they put you in a room and they give you a little robe so you feel like you're in a very fancy gynecologist's office. They asked me what kind of dress I wanted and I said big princessy ball gowns. So they said they would be right back with as many ball gowns as I could possibly try on. First, they put me in a Jim Helm ball gown, which was the most overwhelming thing I've ever put on my body. This was literally a 14 layer dress. I had no idea that ball gowns were this hard to wear. It was honestly like being shoved in like a ton of packing peanuts. The other thing was that I was not prepared for how quiet the room was when I was in there. It was like a graveyard. Everyone was just silent waiting for me to react, which was so intimidating. Cause you think when they're being silent that like they just don't like the dress. Then they brought in this Maggie Sotero dress that was like, and it was not a silhouette I was very comfortable in at first. And the consultants listened very patiently, but even after a while, I had to admit it was a pretty sweet dress. So then the consultants realized I was falling in love with the dress a little bit, so they left me alone wearing it. I tried to sit down on it, but my boobs ended up vacationing under my chin, so I figured that probably wouldn't be a good choice for my wedding day. So at this point, I kind of thought I wasn't going to be able to find a dress, because in my mind, there are only two types of wedding dresses the kind that stick to you, and the kind that are the size of planets. So then they brought in this Michelle Roth dress that was literally the greatest thing I have ever put on my body. It was like a wheelbarrow full of puppies that never leave you voicemails. It was seriously so beautiful, all I could do was just turn in circles and curse. So then they asked me if I wanted to try it on with a belt and a veil, and of course I did. I now understand why people cry when they see their daughters in veils. Uh, I almost cried. I didn't cry, but I did say shit a lot, which is what I do when I'm trying not to cry. So while I was alone wearing the dress, the owner came by to tell me that the dress looked slenderizing on me. And I don't know if that's something that she says to everybody, but I believed it. So I ended up learning a lot about the Kleinfeld process. First of all, if you don't like Panina Tournay, don't worry, her name will not come up in your appointment unless you want her to. Also, they won't tell you that a dress is nice just so they can make a sale. They let you come to that conclusion all on your own. But also, they won't tell you how much a dress costs until it's on your body, so you better be honest about your budget. So if you're planning on going wedding dress shopping anytime soon, I would say bring a friend who's willing to give their honest opinions, especially if you don't like big silences. That'll help. Also, don't worry about how flattering a dress looks while it's still on the hanger. Your body is the ultimate hanger. 